Well, a major delay announced today in the Floyd Galloway trial. He's charged with murdering Danielle Stislicki. And the question, will key evidence be admitted in the case? I spent the day in court today listening to both sides fight for and against a tip that was given in the case, which actually led to the discovery of Danielle's keys and her Fitbit. The question, was that tip handled the right way? Floyd Galloway walked into court not knowing if evidence connected to an admission he reportedly made to the man who conducted his lie detector test would be admissible in court. The tip read, in quotes, the security guard did it. He drove the victim's car to the house in Berkeley, uh, from his house in Berkeley to her apartment, then walked to Tim Hortons at 10 in Halstead, where he called Shamrock Cab or something that sounds like Shamrock, uh, where he received a cab ride to within walking distance from his work where his car was parked. Galloway's defense told the judge that tip from Galloway's polygrapher was then told to the Troy police chief, Gary Mayer, who then called the Farmington Hills police chief, Chuck Nebus, and says that was actual privileged information. So in your mind, it was pretty important to determine the source of this tip? Yes. Knowing that Chief Nebus is the one who took the phone call, did you go back to Chief Nebus and say, hey, Chief, what else can you tell us about the caller? Yes. And what did he say? He said everything that's in the tip is what he knows. Galloway's defense attorney told the judge police failed to properly document the source of the tip and use that tip to obtain search warrants. It's our position that there has been a long-term and widespread campaign to keep information from the defense. Prosecution said nothing was obtained from those search warrants and police did their job in filling out all the necessary paperwork related to the case. But today's conflict caused a delay and now Galloway's murder trial has been moved to November 28th, which will be about six years since Danny went missing. Well, I talked to Danny's parents after court. They didn't feel like talking on camera, but they were devastated. There is another delay in this case. The next hearing about that tip and the evidence that was collected will be June 24th. I'm told whatever side loses is planning on appealing.